okay, you're seeing a side view, which you shouldn't be. So I'm going to turn this way. All right, let me see. Oh, I finally got the Habs app to open up. Okay, so I'm going to turn this way and I'm waiting for things to check up, uh, catch up with me. This is such an international broadcast, you guys. And uh, I've got Kuala Lumpur. I've got Sam Eric coming from Helsinki. I've got Anne Marie from Johannesburg. OMG, I just love you guys so much for coming and understanding that I am testing the waters. Looks like you're watching more than one monitor. I am. I am just trying to determine which one you're seeing. You should be seeing this one. Okay, so I am actually using my phone. And I'm um, going to wait, give this some, okay, this is what I want to say. All right. Things are lined up correctly now. You're watching me from my phone. However, oh my gosh, Friar Wade is here. Oh, thank you so much, Friar, for joining from the YouTube side. Hey, Friar, if you haven't heard about HAPS, I think you have though. But come on over. It's Eileen.link slash HAPS. And I should be able to type that into the chat here. And uh, hang on, you guys. And Sammy Superstar is over here on the YouTube side. Pardon my um, view. Just give me one minute to make sure I got all my ducks in a row here. With letting you guys know the um, my phone is front facing. That's what I want. I want you to see my phone front facing and then I'm going to tell you guys how I set this up because this may be something that you want to try, but I really do want you guys to go over to that link I just posted, which is, uh, let's see if it showed up. Oh, oh okay. Fire waited, came over to the half side. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Here we go. Now the link is showing up and I'll post that up on screen. And so this is, like I said, a grand experiment to sort of uh, take HAPS to the next level. And hang on one second. I'm going to take a screenshot. All right. And uh, when the phone is sideways, you kind of forget how taking a screenshot works. And forgive... <laughs> so forgive my finger forgive my finger and I just want you to know that I literally um, I really goofed up because when I did that I actually shut the phone off and so hang on one second I still got to see this live view this was one thing that I was not able to capture when I did a demo yesterday so here, here's the lay of the land alright just one moment though I want to get the, since I can't get a screenshot, there's always more than one way to skin a cat, I always say. There's more than one way of skinning a cat. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, put up Sammy's comment. And he says, that's very cool. So here's what I did. First, I opened up the HAPS app on my iPhone. And for those of you who missed the update, the HAPS app has been updated on iOS. All right. So let me, let me just go over what that included. And this is why I'm so excited and why I'm using the phone today. The HAPS update to iOS included crisp and clean design with the camera's view taking up full view, full screen. Yay, HAPS! <laughs> Hit show live to see the audience preview, including broadcast graphics. 
The add guest button makes it easier than ever to collaborate with other broadcasters. Now, the Android update is coming soon, you guys. So just sit tight. All right. So. Okay, and oh my gosh, we got folks coming in from all over, and now we have Fort Lauderdale being represented here by our friend Mark Prince. Thank you, Mark, for showing up this morning. Okay, so I downloaded the app. We're loving, loving, loving the update, and if you just bear with me in one minute, I'm going to literally show you what the app looks like. I have a pre-recorded video, which I should be able to queue up on desktop here. All right. And um, then I started the broadcast. Now, so far, from what I can tell, you can't schedule your broadcast from mobile. So far, from what I could tell, I could be missing it because you know. I just could be, but I went to my desktop because I already had it set up. I just didn't press go live right on my phone. Then I came over to my Mac. Good old trusty Mac here. <laughs> Started up my eCam live virtual cam, which you're not going to see the benefits of that today because and in fact, I didn't even have to set up. Put, open up Ecamm Live. It's just my security blanket. I just love it so much. <laughs> All right. And so uh, on my desktop, now this was very important and I kind of semi-tested this ahead of time. Oh, geez. That's always one thing that I forget to do. Hang on. Hopefully nothing goes wrong with this. Sorry for my finger. It's always some mic issue for me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right. Now I'm talking on the correct mic, which is the Samsung Q2U. Trusty Samsung Q2U right here by my side. Did you guys notice a difference in the audio? Let me know if you notice a difference in the audio. And let me know that you can still hear me. And Doug is here. Doug Cousin, yes, Ecamm for the win. Yes, but Doug, I really didn't need to use Ecamm. I'm just realizing this as I'm giving you guys my layout here. And hello in LTMW, aka Mike, the other Mike. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and can someone please verify that my audio is okay and good to go uh please verify that because i realized that i was on the wrong i was using my internal iphone mic but i want to use my samsung q2u so i plugged it in for no for no difference for sound. Okay. If it's no difference, as long as you can hear me clearly, that's okay. All right. It's nice to have the nice microphones, but oh, it's perfect sound. Oh, well, that's even better. <laughs> and Doug is giving me the thumbs up. And hello, Merle Cox. How are you? Thank you so much for coming to this morning. Miss Eileen is sounding okay. All right. Great, great. Okay. Now sound. Hey, now sound is great. All right. Good, 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 good. Brandon. Hi, Brandon. How are you? It's okay. Okay. And then uh, Jaden snuck in too. And thank you so much, Patricia Murray, for the uh, Creative Genius Award. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So. Let me recap because of the mic situation. All right. So here's what I did with the new iOS app for HAPS. I set up my broadcast inside of the app. I don't think I could schedule it, but I started the broadcast, put in my title, put in HAPS challenge, 
And then I just set my phone down for a minute. Then I went over to my desktop and then I opened up the studio for that broadcast, okay? For that same broadcast. Because actually when you go to your desktop, it'll say, it'll have the name of your broadcast, but it'll say inactive, right? Because I didn't push go live. So I, come, I came over here and then I uploaded some media. For example, let's see if we can show off a little bit. Because now at least I got the right microphone going. For example, let's see if we can show this off. Now, are you guys seeing a picture of my phone on the switch pod? Let's see what happens when I go to show live. Yes, you are seeing it. Yay. You're seeing my switch pod. All right. That was a picture so you could see my setup. I have the switch pod, which actually I won in a contest from TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy had a contest over on Instagram. And y'all know I love TubeBuddy and you should too, especially if you have a YouTube channel. And so I won the switch pod, but then I went and made the additional purchase of the little ball head, which I, I realized I really didn't need it, but it's okay. So, and that's just to help like positioning, you know, gives you more flexibility on how you position things. <laughs> Heavenly Deuce says, uh, live streaming is so much easier. Broadcasting is work. And by the way, if I forgot to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Merle Cox for the award. Uh, I so appreciate you. And uh, we're not able to pin the awards up on screen so but thank you thank you thank you thank you all right so you saw the phone and the mic pick so this is the advantage of me taking haps to a new level because i'm able to use my desktop sort of as a producer my, I'm, you know, I'm producing the show from desktop because with the phone, no matter what, you're going to be limited. And, and you'll see in this little demo that I'm going to air, you'll see how things are set up. And actually, the demo is going to be in portrait mode. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to hold off on showing that demo. OK, uh, Mark, thank you so much for the high award. Mark Prince. Shout out to you. Thank you so very much. Okay, so wait, I didn't even finish telling you my setup. After I went on desktop, I went into what says inactive, right? Went into that, uploaded that picture that you saw a minute ago where I took a, a picture with my, with my second phone. I took a picture of my iPhone 11 Pro Max set up on the switch pod shout out to pat flynn too by the way um, while i mentioned that because the switch pod was his invention along with his videographer caleb wojek all right so i'm able to upload that because when you're on your mobile device you're not able to upload any media all right you can, you know, see your comments. You can invite guests. You can see your signal strength. You can turn your mic on and off. You can flip your camera around. You can see all the comments. You can leave comments, okay? And you also can see your uh, coins uh, uh, balance as you're live. You could do all those things. Okay, but you can't do what I did a minute ago. Bear with me as I turn around and get that straight. And show any media. So I'm just going to show some other media just so you guys can see what I'm talking about.
okay of course I'm not playing the countdown timer for you I just want you to see what's possible and I got a super heart from Ash Ash said it thank you so much for the super heart okay I'm still not done because the next thing that I needed to do, and I know I've been having problems with making sure I'm using the right mic. And as you saw, I had that problem a little bit earlier. So it's fresh in my mind, right? And so I need to make up a checklist for all this stuff, don't I? Hmm. Type yes in the comments if you want to see a checklist of what I did for this setup. Because this next step is super duper important and hello fireman rich known as richard roberts here on haps checking in from oswego oswego sounds so exotic and like it's like on a beach or something like that and really it's in new york <laughs> and yes i get a yes I get it. Yes, yes, yes. I should do a checklist. And if I do a checklist, I will make sure that everybody who said yes gets that checklist for free. Otherwise, it's probably going to be uh, something that I'll charge like, you know, $5 for or something like that. But I'm going to tell you because you're here. I'm going to tell you because you're here. And I know people in the replay, they might watch this and they might not. But I know that you are watching it. And oh, uh, yes, please. Oh, you're going to be the first one to get it. <laughs> you're going to be the first one to get it, Shashani. Thank you so very much. All right. So super important. Mute your microphone on your computer. I'll say it again because it's. And you know what? Honestly, I won't even have to put this on your check my checklist because you know what's going to happen? You're going to hear a whole bunch of feedback. Yeah. <laughs> Taking credit because like, oh, I was so smart. No, I wasn't that smart because I thought I had everything distanced properly away from each other. And then all of a sudden, I, then I you know, when I, it was like, ah! turn down the volume on my computer. So right now, my computer volume is set to zilch or negative zilch, if I could go that far. <laughs> because if I could hear myself through my computer speakers, then you would hear me via feedback. I'm going to let that marinate because that's two different things. I'm turning down my computer speaker volume. And I am turning off inside of the HAPS studio on desktop. I'm turning off my microphone volume. Actually, what I did was I choose a microphone that's not really active. And just to make doubly sure, and then I still muted it. So I just make sure that there's no, not even a chance of like a hmm. <laughs> the corruption czar from New York oh my goodness and then you got to remember that yes you can tap on things on your phone but you do need to have your hand on your mouse if you want to put up things uh, you know what some for some reason that that comment that you may oh there it is Tampa for Florida oh hi you're on the YouTube side Thank you very much. And I do want to remind everyone who's on the YouTube side, you see these awards coming through over on the HAP side where folks are giving me tips. But, you know, there's still Super Chat open on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, I don't want you to feel left out because you can always buy me a coffee. Buy me some coffee. Actually, I won't be using it for coffee, but... I just love the, the term, buy me a coffee. And so I'm going to put that link in there too. So even if you're watching this in a replay, you don't have to feel left out. And it's really simple because it's Eileen.link slash coffee. So let me get that all up and ready to present on screen. So, yeah, because, you know, I was missing the fact that I can present comments on screen. I got to be honest with you. 
Although I love that I could just go live on mobile. I want to be able to put comments up, your comments up on screen. So that's the lay of the land here. So I'm going to do a quick recap, all right, to make sure that everyone hears it from start to finish, all right? And this will work on iPhone as well as on Android. You're going to open up your broadcast on your phone. You're going to start your phone, your broadcast on your phone. You're going to put in your title. You're going to add your hashtags. And you can just leave your phone, you know, just put it down to the side. All right. Or set it up in your tripod. In my case, I'm using the switch pod. Then you're going to open up apps on your desktop. And then you're going to open up that broadcast. And you'll see that it says inactive because you never want to click the go live button on the app before you do this step. All right. Unless I try it another way and find out that I can do that. Try clicking the comments. You may find the option to present live. I, I tried that the other day. Oh, you know what? Hash nine. You are so smart. When I tried to do that the other day, it didn't work. But thank you so much for letting me know. So you can present from now. What I need to be aware of and what we all need to be aware of is where your finger is when you're uh, tapping on anything on the screen on your phone, especially when you're in landscape mode, right? So what I'm going to do is use this hand so that it's not in front of my camera because my camera's over here. Sorry. I'm just doing that for demonstration purposes. My camera's over here because that's the way I have my phone tilted. All right. So this way, if I come in from the side, like I'm, I'm holding up my finger now, you guys don't even see it. And I'm going to tap on a comment. You don't see my, the back of my finger now in your face here. Of course it didn't work that time. <sighs> I have better tapping capabilities with my other hand. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. When I tap your comment, has name it showed up but when I tap my own it didn't so maybe that maybe it's just a little trickier for me to do with my own comment let me scroll back to a different comment you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna type another comment in here and um, I'm just gonna thank you guys uh, you know what I'm going to put another piece of technology into use. I'm going to use my stream deck over here. And I already have my pre-planned comment on the stream deck. Like one of my taglines. Hello, beautiful people. All right, so now I should be able to just tap that and present on screen. It's not working. All right, forgive my finger. Nope. It's not working on my own comments, but I can present others' comments. You need to be careful managing so many things on small screen. Use stylus. I don't have a stylus for my iPhone. In fact, I don't even know anybody who has a stylus on their iPhone. Uh, for iPads, has name, Everly just says stylus. Do you guys have iPhones? I don't even. Uh, for iPads, yes. I've never even, I, I know they're out there. I know that a stylus is probably out there for the iPhone, you know, but I never saw anybody use one. And I've never seen anybody even do a YouTube video about one. But see, I can easily just tap on your comment. But when I try to tap on my own comment, it doesn't let me present it, which is opposite of me when I'm on my desktop. And Mark, do you have a stylus? Heavenly do. You have a stylus too? Uh, you has name, you're using I Android. Has nine, I'm sorry. You're using Android. And yes, I know Android, I, you know, it's more common, I think. Just a cheap dollar store stylus should help. Okay, I will check it out then. Maybe I could just use something that I got laying around like a pen. 
<laughs> I might even have a something that's really similar to a stylus around here somewhere. But anyway, I use what works for me. Too many mishaps on here. <laughs> no, never use stylus. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't see people doing that with iPhones. So anywho, all right, so I got distracted. <clears throat> Okay, but that was a great reason to get distracted. iPhone XR. I used my big old fat finger on the iPhone. Yes, Merle. I used one about four years ago, but on my iPad, pre-iPad Pro and the Apple Pen. Absolutely. Yes, like I said, iPads, you hear it all the time. And Merle Cox said, me too. Um, I think you mean me too on the iPad. Oh, so a Shoshani, I'm sorry if I didn't say um, your your comment, and I definitely want to put your comment up on screen as well because Shoshani, she made a she made a big fat hire out of me. <laughs> I use a stylus for my iPhone because it works great. So there you go. Now, in the meantime, <laughs> I still can't get my own comment. Uh, you know, no matter how hard I I tap it. And I'm just going to go back to one just to make sure it's just not me, not using the right amount of pressure or anything like that. Because when I put these calls to action, like for folks to buy me a coffee and I put my link in there, Eileen.link slash coffee, I want to be able to put it up on screen in case somebody's listening. I mean, or they have the volume turned down or, or whatever, right? They may be looking at the closed captions and you know it would just be easy for them to see it up on screen but i have tapped on that thing at least a dozen times guys and that has not worked but i will tap on it on the computer and it works flawlessly okay so have everything set up hi oh raymond how are you A ray of sunshine Okay, only use my stylus on hats. Okay, yes, that's a that's an idea. You know, oh, I, I just love that you guys are, you know, being so transparent and letting me know all your little nitty gritty secrets about when you use styluses and when you don't. And uh, we're all learning from one another. And that's the best. Those are the best live streams, I think. <laughs> It's not just me telling you guys stuff. It's y'all telling me. You don't know what you're talking about, Eileen. I use a stylus on my iPhone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. And then Raymond is from Raleigh. And uh, my sister lives in the Raleigh area. A little bit outside of, of Raleigh, though. In a town that sometimes I forget the name of it. Uh, I believe it's Frederick town I believe it's frederick town not frederick ton or frederickville <laughs> anywho <laughs> i know that once you get there like you you fly into the raleigh airport you still got a long way to go before you get to the house <laughs> i never use a stylus i do my own hair and makeup <laughs> Okay, that's not a stylist. I do my own hair and makeup. No, I don't do my own hair. What am I saying? <laughs> it's not super cute Saturday this week, but normally, you know, my super cute Saturdays. That would be last Saturday. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ways to pamper myself. Let me get back on topic. Style you is a very useful tool. I think you may, uh, you meant to say stylus. Yes, DIY stylus. I am using very cheap free gift. It's pen with small rubber at tip and it's working great. Okay, has name. All right, yes. All right, so let's get back to the the rest of the lay of the land here. So once I once you've got everything set up on your phone, then you uh, but you don't hit the go live button. Think in your mind whether you want to go live in portrait or landscape. I recommend for this whole setup that I'm talking about to make sure that you choose landscape. Make sure you choose landscape. 
And like I said, then you can set your phone up on the tripod or whatever, however you're going to, you know, don't hold your phone because then that's going to be real, real dumb, awkward, you holding your phone and then turning around with the other hand and doing everything on desktop. All right. So Pamela Gomez is in the house. Hello, oh, natural aromatherapy. I definitely want to put that. Oh, I am so behind on comments, guys. <laughs> Good morning, Pam. Great to see you here. And um, <laughs> Fat Fingers, stylist. There, got it. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Okay. <laughs> Stephen, thanks for uh, giving a fireman rich encouragement. <laughs> and um, okay, so once you get to your desktop, you log into that broadcast, upload any media that you have in case you want to show on screen. Like right now, I'm going to do a demo for those who missed it earlier. This is something that I can only do because I have Habs open in two places. I double clicked. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And so there you see that... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and, and you know what I'm going to do too? Oh, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I'm going to take a picture of my desktop setup and airdrop it over to the phone. It's a lovely thing about being in the iOS ecosystem, y'all. Airdrop. It's the best thing. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> and I love that you guys are saying hello to each other. And uh, Wesley Martinez, good morning. If you say good morning, I, I see you saying good morning to others. But if you said it to me and I missed it, I apologize. I, I got it now, though. How you doing? All right, so the airdrop is kind of eating up kind of my resources. Oh, but I'm only at 67%. I have a little monitor over on my stream deck. Um. Yeah, I should show you guys that, too, since I've shown off stuff. It didn't get there yet, though. Oh, there it is. It finally came in. All right, so now I have to upload the image. So, yeah, and that's the only thing that's a little awkward with me turning to the side and everything to get the stuff loaded up. But if, oh, yeah, and then when you take pictures with your iPhone, sometimes they come up in this super goofy format. <laughs> but I think this is important. I, I think you seeing my layout here is super important. So what you have to do is, you know, this is all kinds of tutorials within tutorials, folks. So if you've ever um, put it on my desktop, if you've ever airdropped something that you've taken with your phone, it's going to be in this, it could be in this weird format, H-E-I-C. I know, it's so strange. I don't know why. The iPhone just has to be different. That's all. This is about being different. So, okay, now you're clicking on the picture, not the desktop. <laughs> so uh, all you have to do is in the preview, Open it up in preview, all right? Open it in preview, ladies and gentlemen, and convert it, export. Go to preview, preview your image, and then click export, and that'll let you export it as a JPEG or a PNG or some other funky file formats that nobody cares about, but they are there. All right, so let's make sure that I don't uh do the show the wrong thing all right here we, here we go so that's what my desktop looks like and i just realized that you weren't looking at me for a while you were looking at my iphone <laughs> while i was doing all that sorry so here you go this is what that desktop looks like where i'm uploading media over on the side and uh, where I can tap on these comments 
And for example, I'll do one here uh, from Stephen. Talking to, um, I think you were saying good morning to Wes. I'm sorry, that was Leslie saying good morning to Stephen. Okay. <sighs> We're, we're, we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. So <clears throat> you upload all of your media. So if you want to have that little preview video, you go ahead and do that. And you also can upload images. Uh, <clears throat> what else would you want to upload? I don't think GIFs work. I'm not sure. And I'm not going to test that right now. I don't think you can upload GIFs. You can... But you can always convert your gift to a movie, all right? On if you have a Mac, there's this might be totally different for PC, all right? And, and Dr. John is here from Calgary. Okay, this time I'm going to present on screen from my phone. <laughs> and always remember to use the opposite hand and try to sneak up in there to present stuff on screen, okay? And um, Irma from Worcester just subscribed, but I, don't, I can't pin those just subscribe things up on screen anyway. I can't even do that on desktop. So, excuse me. Let me take a sip. So, you turn down the volume on your computer. You make sure that your volume of your mic is muted on your desktop view because you'll notice in the screenshot now i appear twice in the back end i tried to upload a dot movie video and it loaded but only displayed a blank screen i'm not sure why that would be because i'm pretty sure that some of the the movies that i've uploaded were movie I, i'm going to assume it could be one or two things that there was a problem with the size of the dot move dot mov file i'm just assuming and uh, <clears throat> oh jeez this is tricky now i couldn't pin that youtube comment up on screen but no one's typing. Yes, they are typing. They're over on the HAPS app. Snuggles668, come over to HAPS. And that's Eileen.link slash HAPS. And my friend, the information man, is here. Now, that's funny. I can present his comment on screen. Oh, that's because he's on the HAPS side. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. And, uh, yeah, the Snuggles668 comment which is on the YouTube side, I cannot present on screen from mobile. Let me go back because I know earlier that Pam Gomez commented and she was on the Facebook side. No, I cannot present those. So I'm just making my case for why I would want to have my mobile and my desktop at the same time. Why do I want to do that? You know, and so... You, you may not. Why, well, there's Sue Ann. Hey, Sue Ann. You're on the Twitter side, which is really interesting to me because I, I, I guess even though you're it's saying Twitter, you're actually watching my Periscope broadcast. It's just that it's showing on Twitter. That's probably why it says that. Sue Ann, think about joining HAPS. I think you would like it. Sue Ann, I'm going to type the link into the comments. So, guys, forgive me that I have to turn to the side. Oh, and I made a typo already. I should have this programmed on the stream deck, and then I wouldn't have to worry about So, appreciate you. All right, Carlos Phoenix just subscribed. Thank you for signing up, Carlos. I'm not sure if this is your first time signing up or not, <clears throat> but thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I so appreciate each and every one of you guys. And so, 
I think I've gone over all of the setup a couple of times now, but let me just make sure that I uh, have gone over like the benefits of doing it this way. Um, I could, if I wanted to, if I was really, if I had this set up, let's just say, I'll give you an example to make it more meaningful. Let's just say that this morning I wanted to give you guys a stream deck uh, tutorial or a stream deck walkthrough so you could look at my stream deck, right? Then I can use my phone as a second camera. No problem, Eileen. We appreciate all you do and <laughs> the info you present. Thank you. <laughs> and Sue Ann is saying, thank you again. <laughs> yeah, I want you to come over here, Sue Ann. I, I command you. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> Sue Ann, I know, I know, I know that you love StreamYard. And I know that you are you starting to really embrace this whole idea of live streaming. And I'm so super proud of you. And But HAPS is going to give you an alternate. As much as we all love StreamYard, well, maybe not everybody here loves StreamYard, but I know I do, and I love my Ecamm Live, but guess what? There's nothing wrong with having an alternate uh, so that just in case, uh, let's just say, for example, Haps has a challenge, and you could win money. They're not having a challenge on StreamYard. They're not having a challenge on Ecamm. They do some great things. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but why not participate in a challenge too? <laughs> now, if you haven't started participating, it's already too late to sign up for it. But you never know what's going to be coming up next. Okay. <laughs> so I know I was making a point. Okay. Here's the reason why you would want to do this other than... Um, Here's just another reason why you may want to stream with your phone and with your desktop. Just using your phone as a camera, okay? So, in the example that I started to give, but then I got distracted because of your wonderful comments. If I wanted to show something, like I used the example of the stream deck, but it could be anything, I can be using the stream deck, the, the I'm sorry, the iPhone to show the stream deck. And I, if I was brave, if I was super brave, I would take it out of the tripod right now and go and show you. But I'm not that brave because it's going to be shaky cam. <laughs> and then still control and produce the show, so to speak. I like that word producer. I feel like a producer from my desktop and i've given you guys some of the reasons why the desktop uh, is great so for example especially with haps okay so for example haps has these really cool things called takeovers all right so i'm going to give you an example of a takeover All right, so I'm just going to do something really simple just so you can see what a takeover looks like. All right, so you can't do this from your phone. See, new on hats. You see that? You can't do that from your phone. Okay. <laughs> so let's just say I wanted, if, if I had time, I would have done it ahead of time. And... <laughs> What do you do, ma'am? You know, sometimes YouTube, I love you, but sometimes, like, what do you do? What do you see me doing? There you go, Snuggles. What you see me doing? <laughs> it's great to see everyone here. It is. It really is. And uh, I'm going to put up some of these really lovely comments that I've been missing. And Mike, I saw your comment that's coming up on screen next. And I, although I didn't get a chance to read it, so I'm going to read it now. I love StreamYard, but it's always good to be familiar with other platforms. 
Ta-da! You took the words right out of my mouth, Mike. It's almost like we we are, like we here. <laughs> because that's how I feel, you know? I feel like, um, and even with my Ecamm, you know? And Ecamm is great, but I know that a lot of you guys don't have um, access to a Mac. All right, so Carlos... Carlos is being very verbose this morning. So I'm going to try to read your comment, but I know it's not going to stay on screen long enough. I use StreamYard for my personal streams where I don't need complexity. I am blessed to be an authorized reseller of nearly every software and hardware for broadcasts and live streaming. So when I go pro productions, I have six or more ways to produce shows depending on clients, complexities, and if they like it, I can sell them a studio with every tool they need. Carlos, you are a live streaming machine, honey. Yes. <laughs> and don't forget, I knew you when. I knew you when. You were you didn't have all those tools and stuff, but that's okay because I still love you. <laughs> and Stephen says, I broadcast from my iPhone and laptop when I use my telescope. Ooh, ooh. iPhone is connected to the telescope and I comment from my laptop. Thank you, Stephen, for giving me another use case. And also, I thank you also for me not being the first pioneer of doing this setup here. I don't like being the only one. Uh, are you, oh, gosh. And you know, that's funny because normally I don't get these kinds of comments on YouTube. Yeah, it, oh, none of my moderators are here either. But okay, do those on-screen comments automatically disappear after a few seconds? Yes, they automatically disappear after a few seconds, Mike. And I forgot if you're on YouTube, I have to do it from the desktop. Yeah, they automatically disappear. No. And in fact, they don't pop up here and I don't instantly like they do on Ecamm or StreamYard. There's a bit of a delay. And good morning, Martin Lindis Cog. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Eagle Netcast is in the house. And thank you for the Appreciate You Award. <laughs> and also I've got Helen, who's in Edinburgh. And Martin is in Goth Gothenburg. Gothenburg. I can't say it right, but y'all know what I, y'all know this town. <laughs> if you don't know, go to Wikipedia and look it up. Yes, yeah, so they, they don't, and you can set that inside of Ecamm when you're pinning comments up on screen. You can set a, an interval of how long they will be on screen, or you can set, the, no, I want to manually take them off. But on StreamYard, there's no setting. With StreamYard, it's always, you have to put the comment up and you have to take it down. And, and that is sometimes, uh, you know, when you're someone like myself who's used to a different platform like Ecamm Live, and then when you go and broadcast on StreamYard and you got this awkward comment, where, or maybe it's not awkward, maybe it's just somebody said hello. And then 10 minutes later, you're, of course, you're on to a whole different topic and that hello comment is still sitting on screen and you're like, oh, darn, I forgot, I have to literally take it down. Yes. <laughs> And I said it right. So, yay. <laughs> uh, Martin said I said it right. And Martin, so, yeah, you're on the the HAPS side. And um, Information Man is once again saying good morning to everyone. So, you guys all say hi back to him. That's my buddy. And Helen, uh, oops, tapped on the wrong comment. Now I know what y'all mean about fat fingers. <laughs> No, actually, it's, it was Husnain who even told me he, just today. I just learned that I can pin the, the comments on mobile. Only certain ones, not every one. So this is another reason why 
it's nice to have the desktop uh, right by your side where you can go about like for example my friend Kate is here from Paul Ta Paul Tales she's over on the YouTube side and she's saying good morning everyone so yeah Kate so she would not I would not be able to pin that one if I wasn't sitting here at the computer yeah 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 okay so you guys I want to try this it may be a little difficult for you to see but you should be able to hear the, the clarity instructions and the walkthrough so bear with me and just leave me comments if for some reason, it, you know, you just um, feel like, uh, you know, take that down, Miss Eileen. But what I want to do is just show you a little walkthrough of the updated iOS app for HAPS. Okay, I recorded it. And I want to show you this little video. So I'm going to let her roll right now. Hello, beautiful people. I want to introduce you to the new interface of HAPS on iOS. And let's just go through the tabs on the bottom. You'll see Discover, and then there's your feed, and all the people that you have notifications turned on for. Let's skip over now. Let's not go live yet. Let's go over to the activity feed, which, you know, you'll see all the folks that have gone live that you follow and any other announcements. And then we'll go over to the profile section. Here's where you can edit your profile. You also can check on your coins and rewards on this tab. Okay, so now let's just go over to go live. Create a new broadcast. And I'm just going to mark this as testing. Testing new iOS app. And I'm going to turn off Facebook. And I'm just going to go live on HAPS and on Periscope. Okay. Now, you would also add any hashtags that you need to add. Right. I'm not going to be doing the HAPS challenge right now. In fact, I'll just add live streaming because that's one of my favorites to add. Now we're going to broadcast in portrait. We're not going to turn on the high quality audio mode, but let's just show you there that you can toggle that off and on. And so now we're in the pre-live stage. And in the pre-live stage, you can see perhaps already has this prepared uh, text that you can share if you want to encourage folks to come over to your HAPS. And so you could just read through that for folks if you want to introduce them to what HAPS is all about. Let's go over all the controls we have there. We have pre-live. We have the internet. We've got our signal indication there. And then if we wanted to go back and make any edits, we could. If we want to add guests, that button right below. Okay, you know, you ever hear this song? I believe it was the OJs. Got to give the people, give the people what they want. Ah, ah. You know, you got to give the people, uh, give the people what they want. And you all were saying that you couldn't see what was going on. It was too small and that the screen was too busy. So I ended the little um, demo. But what it did give me time to do was to go over and say hi over on the YouTube side. And in case you didn't see that, yeah, I went over there on the YouTube side because I needed to do a little comment moderation over there. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so it served a purpose and it wasn't so long that um, anyone had to leave. And Chris, what I'm going to do is, because uh, Chris, and thank you, Chris, for being here. And says, you can zoom in. Oh, yeah, I 
that's right. If you're on the Haps app, if you're on YouTube or if you're on, well, if you're on Facebook, you can make it a little bit bigger. Or you can, oh, Ben, Benito, Precelio, and I really hope I said that right because I put all my all into it. Thank you. Thank you so much for the Super Clap Award. Yay! <laughs> and Helen says she could see it just fine. <laughs> and Sabrina Lovejoy. Oh my gosh, I love that name. Sabrina, hi! And does anybody remember watching that TV show called Lovejoy with Ann McShane? Oh my gosh, that was one of my favorites. And I tried to find it. I couldn't even find it on Netflix when I was at my daughter's house because I don't have Netflix. And, I, and we don't share a password. So I loved Lovejoy. But anyway, Sabrina, I'm not trying to take away from because you might not even know what Lovejoy is all about. And guess what? I have low battery power. Ah, oh, it's just 20%. So that's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> you really don't want to zoom in on me. Zoom out, maybe. Never zoom in. That's <laughs> Stephen McMillan saying that. <laughs> Uh, how are things in Canada is what Martin is asking uh, Benito. And let's see. I want to make sure I didn't miss any of your comments. And oh, Benito's in Montreal. And uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. We've, we've got Canada. We've got Scotland. We've got uh, all around the U.S. We've got Sweden. Oh, gosh, I shouldn't have started naming the countries. Oh, uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, because I know I'm going to forget someone. And please, please, please forgive me if I forgot to shout out your country. Go ahead and type it in the chat. If I did not mention your country and, or, you know, I'll just say the United States, but we've got Texas, we've got um, Tennessee, we've got New York, we've got Pennsylvania, we've got Florida, um, I believe we have California here, um, we've got the Bahamas here, well, how, how could I forget that, Pam, my girl Pam Gomez, and, and uh, Mark, I'm not sure where you're, Mark, if you're still here, I'm not sure where you're coming in from. I said Florida, but there's another Florida that came in. And then, of course, Friar Wade is from Lakeland. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, Kuala Lumpur. Yes, I said that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only thing about me charging would mean that I would need to unplug my phone. And I have 20%. So 20% is, is a lot because, trust me, my daughter... I know this from, from hanging out with her in California. Runs on three, four percent all the time. <laughs> but I know that it's eating up extra resources because I'm live and because the phone is actually powering the mic. And that's a wonderful thing about having the USB mic. And so I know I showed you the picture earlier, but I just want you to see again. how that particular dongle is plugged in to the iPhone. And of course that's drawing on more of the resources. So it's not like I've got a whole lot more time here, but if everybody can right now go to Twitter or go to Facebook or go to your favorite platform and share this broadcast out I would be so, so appreciative of you doing that. Uh, Steven says, I usually run at about 3% all the time. Can't get enough sleep. You know, I'm going to stop presenting comments on screen from the phone. Yes, the USB mic, the great mic, is a Samsung Q2U. If anyone ever wants to know about any of the gear, I have all these dongles, the SwitchPod. I usually, and when I'm on my desktop, I usually use the... 
uh, ATR 2100, uh, of course, my iPhones, all the dongles, all my lighting, my tripods. Go over to my Amazon shop. And yeah, I'm going to type it in the comments here. <laughs> and it's Amazon.com slash shop slash Eileen Smith. But I'm going to type it in. Amazon.com slash. And I just recently updated my shop uh, in my books area because I, I always say riff. Reading is fundamental. Reading is fundamental. And uh, it, it's worked. It worked. I just want y'all to know it worked because my daughter, shout out to my daughter, Nicole Purvey from Better Than Success. She's got an amazing YouTube channel, which I've been helping her with, by the way. And so she recently did, um, you know, book recommendations. And she mentions books in a lot of her videos because that's really what she recommends a lot of folks to do, is to do their research and do some reading. And so she mentioned how I recommended a book for her and how she's so glad that she read the book. And she even quoted me and she said, Riff, my mom always says reading is fundamental. And that's just, just the truth. Anytime you've been telling someone that from the time when they were a little girl and now they're a grown woman with a little boy, and my little Joseph, and, and, they're, and it, it, it sunk in. It's okay, people. It's just like a mom win. Can I get an amen for a mom win? <laughs> yes. All right. And so Martin, he says he's going to get the Samsung Q2U in the future. Do you have a laptop with the new M1 processor from Apple? Nope. Did you see my question about the countdown feature with a jingle and an image? No, I did not. So I'm going to scroll back. I think it's better for me to scroll back. Uh, uh, you didn't put the question in here. Where did you put the question, Martin? And Chris said, amen. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, where did you put the, the question, Martin? You said, did you see my question? I don't see it here in the chat. Uh, do you know how to resolve... Delays and comments showing up on the hacks screen. That, it, that That's just the way it works. It's not anything that you need to resolve. That's how hacks works. And if it's really like tremendously slow, like I would say more than 20 seconds, 30 seconds for it to show up, then you just need your contact support. You need a contact support. So thank you in the chat box. Okay, so you did put that message here. All right, I'm going to, all I saw was you come in. Can you just retype it? Seriously, because <laughs> it, there's a ton of comments here. So uh, I appreciate if you retype the question, uh, Martin. That would make it so much easier for me. You remember Riff from the 70s. Melanie, hi, dear. How are you? Melanie Weiser. See, you're smart because you're wiser. Yes, Riff. In fact, that's the title of, like, if you go over to my Amazon page, right, you'll see that, and they call it a, uh, um, an influencer page. You'll see there's different categories. It's live streaming gear, podcasting gear. For those of you who have little ones, like I have my little grandson who's five months, like five and a half months old. And so I have uh, what's called the Grammy Brigade because, you know, I'm Grammy, right? <laughs> so, and then I have my Reading is Fundamental collection of books. There's mostly marketing books in there, but there's also the wonderful uh, yoga book from Donna Melanson, who's who's here, um, Azul Yoga is her handle on Twitter and so forth and Periscope and all that stuff. And her yoga book is in there. And so I have some other mindfulness kinds of books in there. Uh, and 
I love it when y'all appreciate me. And Kate is saying that the comments are scrolling so fast, and so she doesn't know how I be. That's pretty amazing how I'm keeping pace. Yeah, I'm not being able to keep pace, really. I'm just randomly picking ones that are just like positive vibes and positive energy. Hey, Vanita. Okay, Fort Myers Beach. Yes, I did give Florida a shout out earlier. I think you may have just got here right after I gave that. Uh, you get plenty of comments. You wrote it again, and I still, oh, I have been trying. Okay, there you go. I found it now. I've been trying to add my own jingle and an image for the countdown feature. I have watched the tutorial, but I don't get it. All right, so you have to turn that image and your jingle into a movie. Because you can't upload audio files on HAPS. I'll say it one more time. You can't upload audio files on HAPS. So you go into a movie editor, and you can even do this on your phone, iMovie. Uh, I personally, I would use, I actually use ScreenFlow. I do it all the time on ScreenFlow. Um, there's probably a couple other um, easy apps that you can use and you have to merge them into a movie and so there you go all right so my channel is all about good oops sorry it went up it scrolled up so quickly but i can try to grab it from here vanita says my channel is all about good vibes only yes i know that vanita that's why when i saw you I was, I felt the good vibe. I really didn't know that, but I felt like a good spirit when I saw your comment. <laughs> what your daughter do, my daughter, the beautiful, the amazing Nicole Purvey. And if you go to, because oh, I see that you're on YouTube, if you go to Better Than Success or anyone, go to betterthansuccess.com. Or if you're on Twitter, you know, Twitter has that character limit. She's better success. And by she, I mean me, because she don't mess with Twitter. But she's great on Instagram. And on Instagram, in fact, I'm going to put her Instagram handle in here. Because this is really the place to find out all things about Nicole Purvey. And I'll spell it. Because, you know, her Instagram handle is her name. P-U-R-V as in Victor. Why? She always says V as in Victor. Okay. So make sure you follow the amazing chip off the old block. <laughs> My daughter, Nicole Purvey. Nicole, P-U-R, V as in Victor, Y. And Instagram is really, really the best place to follow her. And then you'll find all her other properties like Better Than Success. And here on YouTube, Better Than Success. She's not on Haps. Don't, she doesn't live stream as much as I would love for her to. But I think that's going to be changing. So... <laughs> Because, you know, she's a chip off the old block. So, hey, what can I tell you? But she podcasts way more than I do. That's another thing. She's got Better Than Success podcast. And what she does is she teaches entrepreneurs, especially those in the real estate field. Uh, she teaches them how to make money, how to invest, how to grow, and how to pass on that generational wealth. Uh, using investing and real estate and all that good stuff. And <laughs> and Bruce is saying, ha-ha, that's awesome. And I got another award, the Bravo Award. Yay, thank you. Yeah, so it's funny because if we, I, I told you guys this little story about when she was a little girl, riff and all that, right? So when she became an entrepreneur, you know, as an adult, and I kept telling her for her business that she needed to podcast. And at that time, I was more into podcasting. Um, I shouldn't say I was more into podcasting. I'm very into podcasting. 
I just haven't released an episode. I follow the podcasting industry like a hawk. Okay. <laughs> I probably watch and listen to more podcasting um, information than I do live streaming information, uh, to be honest with you. But I just haven't released an episode because I've been live streaming. What can I tell you? It's less editing. <laughs> And so I had to convince her to podcast. I really did. But from the very beginning, when she started podcasting, she outperformed me far and away for my podcast. And so, you know, I just watch her grow. But then I also had to convince her about YouTube. So things that, you know, I plant those little seeds right you know Vincent, what's the name of her show the better than success podcast that's why i said follow her on instagram and then you'll get links to all the stuff but it's a better than success podcast i might as well just put her website here better than success and then you'll see the links up at the top to all of her socials of course we're on facebook you know and you know we have an instagram for better than success as well and um yeah and guys i really apologize if i missed any of your comments but this has been such an amazing live stream i really really appreciate all of you guys for coming out today and uh um, Hasnain even says, thanks you, thank you for a great session. <laughs> GTG. I just heard that and I already know it means gotta go. <laughs> but guess what? And um Vanita, Vanita said bye, have a good vibes day. <laughs> you guys have been so generous, so kind, so patient, so understanding. And you guys know that my uh, battery is running out on my phone. And I did something that I thought was um, groundbreaking and novel, but then her, here come to find out that Steven had already been doing it with his telescope, which is just amazing. I used to be so into uh, astronomy. So maybe Stephen will get me back into it and have a happy HAPS day using HAPS. Thank you so much. I enjoyed everyone in this live this morning. Thanks so much, you guys. And when I start off my broadcast and you guys always hear me say, hello, beautiful people, right? Because I know that you have a beautiful message inside of you. And sometimes you're just a little afraid. You're not really sure about being on camera or getting on the mic. You're just maybe a little, you know, shy. Okay. Or maybe you're just like, I don't know what button to push. I get frazzled when I've got all these, you know, new software coming out. And that's my job. My job is to show you, to teach you, to help you, to guide you with what button to push so that you can feel confident, you can rest assured, you can just push that button and go live or start recording your podcast. And that's why I am here to help you get your message out there because you know what? Your message is so beautiful can change someone's life and that means a lot to me it means a lot to everyone keep putting those positive vibes out and i start by saying hello beautiful people and i end by saying stay beautiful